Hello everyone, uh, today I'm making a video on this uh, Stentura 8000 battery pack. Um, I figured I could uh, replace the batteries on here a little bit less expensive than sending it off to uh, get it replaced by the company. Now I've heard that these are not, uh, not standard off-the-shelf batteries. So I'm going to need to go down to the battery store and see if I can figure out what size these things are. But first I got to get them out. So I thought, uh, well, maybe I can uh, cut around the outside of this and make a, like a hinge door on here. But I decided not to since it'll probably look pretty ugly. Even if this is not normally seen by anybody, it'll be seen by me. So I decided to cut up on the inside here carefully. And uh, maybe I could put this together with some sort of epoxy or screws or something. And well, there it is. That was my first cut there. And I figured, well, maybe I can slide these batteries out. And just uh, slide them up and out. But uh, no. Of course. No. They're rather, they're rather tight fit in that case, so they're not going to slide. And initially I thought they were they were maybe like hot glued in there or something because they weren't moving so I removed the second half of that uh, battery cover and I discovered this the batteries are attached to the terminals so my previous idea of cutting on the outside would have been a very bad idea because it would have made a mess of this uh, this little battery cover here took these out and they fell out finally after a, I pried a piece of it off on the edge there so that uh, the uh, battery terminal would uh, clear that and here we are those are the batteries six unknown size batteries that say Japan what size are they oh they're Japan size well that's really informative huh um, I, hopefully the guy at the uh, battery battery store knows more about these uh, these weird sizes than I do and can give me the right batteries and hopefully they can build me one of these things it seems that this holds everything together to make sure that it uh, makes contact all the time and there's the terminal here that I'm gonna have to uh, replace I hope and uh, well let's go over this here According to this, this was made in the 46th week of 2002, so that makes these about uh, 12 years old. Definitely in need of replacement. So, off to the battery store I go now, and hopefully they're not too expensive. So, we'll see how that works later. See you later. Alrighty then. I just got back from the battery store and uh, they finished rebuilding this battery pack here for me. Now, I asked the uh, gentleman here what size these batteries are since the old one only had that uh, Japan on it. And he told me this, these are A size, just one A, no double A, no triple A, just one A. And being that they're made of a different composition from the, uh, the older ones, uh, these are uh, 2.7 milliamp uh, amper hour batteries instead of the old 1.4 so these will last a little bit longer which is a good thing now they go ahead and uh, put that thing together for you and weld them up or whatever they need to do solder on the tabs and then uh, charge it up and test it and best of all, you don't have to worry about disposing of the old ones. They go ahead and do that for you. And the total charge for this thing here was $25 instead of the $80 uh, that you would normally have to pay if you send it out to the company here for replacement. So, now all that we need to do is uh, put this back in the box here and put it back in the machine and uh, see how long it lasts. Hopefully at least a good 8 hours of use before it has to be recharged. I would like to mention a mistake I discovered before I installed the new battery into my Stentura. It is very important to check the polarity of the battery after it is returned before it is plugged into the machine. 
Let me call your attention to the original battery where the positive terminal is on the right when the battery pack is facing down. Let us assume that the Stentura does not have polarity protection other than the shape of the battery container to prevent inserting the battery backwards. Defeating this and connecting the battery backwards may cause damage to the circuit board and or would cause the battery to leak or explode when charged backwards. This is the new battery as initially received with the terminals facing down. The positive terminal on this is on the left. This is clearly wrong. The terminals had to be desoldered and turned over. This is the correct polarity of the battery when it is enclosed in the battery container and ready for installation.